Migraine. Here's a table showing different types of headaches and their characteristic features. In migraine headache, family history is present, females are affected more often than males, onset is variable, location is usually unilateral, the character and severity of migraine are pulsating and throbbing, duration lasts for 2 to 72 hours per episode, associated symptoms are visual auras, sensitivity to light and sound, pale facial appearance, nausea, and vomiting. In cluster headache, there is no family history. Males are more often affected than females. Onset is during sleep. Location is behind or around one eye. The character and severity of cluster headache is an excruciating, sharp, steady pain. Duration lasts for 15 to 90 minutes per episode. Associated symptoms are unilateral or bilateral sweating, facial flushing, nasal congestion, lacrimation, pupillary changes. And tension type of headache. Family histories present. Females are more often affected than males. The onset is under stress. Location is bilateral and a band around the head. The character and severity of tension headache is dull, persistent, and tightening. Duration lasts for 30 minutes to 7 days per episode. Associated symptoms are mild intolerance to light and noise, anorexia. Types of migraine. There are two main types of migraine presentation migraine without aura, and migraine with aura. The nature of headaches in both these types is similar. Migraine without aura. It's seen in about 85% of cases. It's a severe, unilateral, pulsating headache lasting for 2 to 72 hours. The triggering factor is physical activity, and associated symptoms include nausea, vomiting, photophobia, and phonophobia. In migraine with aura, Headache is preceded by auras. There are visual and sensory causing speech or motor disturbances. More commonly, visual aura occurs 20 to 40 minutes prior to the appearance of a headache. Pathophysiology of migraine. Migraine is said to be caused due to spontaneous activity arising at the trigeminal nucleus, generating an action potential which depolarizes the thalamus, producing unwanted cutaneous and visual sensations creeping sensation, and flashes of light, aura, respectively. This action potential travels to the meningeal blood vessels, stimulating the release of calcitonin gene-related peptide, serotonin, substance P, and nitric oxide, causing vasodilation. The vasodilation of the meningeal vessels causes meningeal edema, and these vessels are highly innervated. Thus, the edema causes compression of nerves against the skull, generating severe headaches. One side of the trigeminal nucleus is stimulated at each time. Hence, the headache is hemicranial and shifts on each side. They characteristically have pulsatile and throbbing headaches. Severe cases of migraine headaches have at least one to five attacks per month, unilateral with moderate to severe pain. Migraines most commonly affect females more than males and have considerable morbidity in carrying out day-to-day -day activities in these patients. Treatment and Side Effects Treatment of acute migraine includes symptomatic, nonspecific, and migraine-specific. Symptomatic measures include the use of analgesics, non-steroidal, anti-inflammatory drugs, and antiemetics for vomiting. Dopamine is thought increased in migraine, hence D2 antagonists like chlorpromazine, prochlorperazine, and metoclopramide are also used during an acute attack on migraine. They also act as antiemetics. Migraine-specific treatment includes drugs that are agonists at 5-hydroxytryptamine-1D receptors. They inhibit the vasodilatation and release of inflammatory mediators, like calcitonin gene-related peptides, specifically at the trigeminal nerve in the cranial vessels. They include tryptins and dihydroergotamine. Opioids, butorphanol by intranasal route or pethidine by parenteral route, are the rescue medication used when other drugs do not achieve desired response in an acutely severe migraine attack. Tryptins Examples are sumatryptin, narotryptin, rizotryptin, fastest-acting, elotryptin, almotryptin, frobotryptin, long half-life is greater than 24 hours, and zomotryptin. Tryptins have a variable individual response, variant absorption in protein binding capacity, Hence, one or more drugs have to be tried for successful pain relief. Rezotryptin and elotryptin are both fast-acting and more effective than sumatryptin in acute attacks.
naratriptan, and almatriptan are better tolerated. They are the agonists at the 5-hydroxytryptamine 1D receptors, serotonin receptors, which are located on small peripheral nerves which innervate the intracranial vasculature. They are the choice of treatment for acute attacks of migraine. Side effects like vasoconstriction and nausea seen with ergo alkaloids are less seen with the usage of tryptans. They have good oral absorption. Sumatriptan can be given subcutaneously, rectal and intranasally, also, and zolmatriptan as a nasal spray. The onset of action is about 1 to 2 hours following oral administration, with an average half-life of 2 hours. Following a single dose of administration, headache may be seen in 24 to 48 hours. Hence, in some cases, a second dose is preferred. Side effects include a rise in blood pressure, flushing, increased sweating, pain, and pressure sensations in the chest, neck, throat, and jaw. Cardiac side effects, like angina, myocardial infarction, are increased. Hence, tryptin should be avoided in ischemic heart diseases and peripheral vascular disease, unless a prior cardiac evaluation is not done. Ergo compounds Ergotamine and dihydroergotamine, a derivative of ergotamine. Ergo alkaloids can also be used for acute attacks of migraine. They are non-selective 5-hydroxytryptamine agonist and have similar action to tryptins. They can be given sublingually, intranasally, ergotamine, or intravenously, intranasal route. Dihydroergotamine. Side effects include nausea and vasoconstriction, causing gangrene of fingertips. Nitroprusid, for vasodilatation, are the common side effects. Prophylaxis of migraine. Prophylaxis to prevent migraine is indicated if the attack rate of headaches is two or more times in a month with severe headaches complicated by serious neurologic signs. Propanolol is a drug of choice, but other beta blockers can also be used. Flunarazine is a calcium channel blocker. Methasurgide, an ergo alkaloid, can also be used. Drugs used in prophylaxis of migraine. Mnemonic, flunarazine, can prevent migraine. Flunarazine, can, Cyproheptidine, clonidine, P. Pizotefin, propanolol, drug of choice. RE, release of GABA inhibitor, gabapentine, VE, valparate, N. nortriptyline, T. topiramate, migraine, methasurgide. Drug therapy of migraine. In mild cases, Drug therapy includes simple analgesics or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or their combinations with or without antiemetics. In moderate cases, drug therapy includes non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs combinations or tryptin or ergo alkaloids with antiemetics. In severe cases, drug therapy includes Tryptin or ergo alkaloids with antiemetics, with prophylaxis, propranolol or other beta blockers, amitriptyline or other tricyclic antidepressants, flunarazine or other calcium channel blockers, valparate or topiramate. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.